Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode one of Karen, playthrough number two. With Mun Minor Alteration, I am going to try out playing uh, Karen, uh, the Zoroastrian religion, with my clear combat mod. So, this is not vanilla. Um, keyboard shortcuts and interface adjust does not affect your checksum, does not affect the actual gameplay balance at all. Clear combat does. So, We'll see. I don't know. I, I just I want to try it, and I think it's a good way to showcase how the mod works, see if, if people like it, and uh, go from there. And Karen was fun, so we're going to give it a shot. So we're going to place Karen. We are Satrap Vandad of Karen, and let's begin. So a quick re uh, like summary of Clear Combat, if you are not familiar with it. Uh, what Clear Combat does is it simplifies combat mechanics. It doesn't make it so that combat is trivial, it just makes it easier to understand, and it also makes it more likely for a character with high martial to, to do better, which kind of makes sense, I think. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get started. So I think we definitely want to get married, and then we definitely want to marry my sister, because, you know, that's just, it's just what you do. We'll take the... What is more important? Uh, prestige? Not really, you know what? I think gold is everything. Last time I took the prestige. And this time we're going to be just as, a, as aggressive as possible. Uh, we've got a double count here, whose opinion of us is only... 58, so let's improve relations with him. We will train troops in one of our counties. Gurgen makes slightly more money, so... Wow, our steward is terrible. We'll collect taxes. We'll also... I would like to build a spy network in our neighbor's land to see if we can upset the balance of this stuff here. He's starting off at war. And how about we improve religious relations with one of our bishops? It doesn't really matter which one. As far as laws go, I do want maximum feudal levies right away. We're going to need those men. And as far as plots go, I do want to plot to kill this guy if possible, because I want his land. This guy is not on our side yet, but he could be with a little bribe. And then we'll invite everyone else as well. I know, it, I mean, some of the things that I'm doing don't make sense. Like, I just, just tried to improve relations with him, now I'm trying to murder him. Well, it's a contingency plan. On you know, the off chance that we don't actually succeed in killing him, I do want him to like me. I want him to be smiling and looking at me in the face and then saying, Ouch! Why'd you stab me in the back? A2, Brute. That kind of thing. Now, as a Zoroastrian, Zoroastrian, excuse me, again, we don't really get any good modifiers at all. So, we just need to be very aggressive. Um, I could declare a holy war. These other guys to the south are busy. Something that I, I did last time is I started off the game with um, a conquest war, and then I sieged everything, and I think that took too much time. So let's go ahead and be very aggressive and actually declare a holy war. We can do Kiva, that's three counties, or we can attack this Tengri here to the north. We could take all of this, which would be one, what is that? One, two, three, four, five holdings. Let's wait for Kumania and Kazaria to do their first subjugation wars. They, they're, they're like a, a kid in a candy store. They can't wait. As soon as they, like, as soon as time starts ticking, they'll declare their first subjugation war. That's just what they do. So we'll we'll hold off on declaring war for a moment because I don't want them to decide that defending is more important. And I think we look good. We could also potentially throw. Throw a feast. No, that's going to take a year. Okay. Maximum feudal levies. We've gotten married. We need new, new ambition already. I think that uh, trying to improve stewardship. Let's try that. So to make sure that I know what's happening up here, I'm actually going to set him as special interest, and so will I set you. Because I want to know when they declare their wars. No one should attack us yet. 
because we have this large standing army. And we've got another 2,000 men as well. So we've got 7,000 7, troops compared to our neighbors who only have a couple thousand. Just need to be strategic. This guy here has only 900 men. And he has 20. Okay, so, alright. Well, even if they did join, then I think we could probably take it. Let's do this one. We're going to attack to the north first. Raise all of our men. And we'll rally to here. <clears throat> now, it, it being a holy war, the other Tangri can join in. It's like our neighbor went to limited crown law. Look out below! So we're trying to kill our, our other guy. If we succeed in killing him, I'm going to need to create a second duchy to increase the domain limit so that we can actually hold on to the land. Wow. Even with that level of legalism. Why is our domain limit so small? Man. We just need that second duchy. Diligent. Hey, that's a great trait. Which means we've improved stewardship, which means we get extra extra stuff. That's awesome. Let's work on intrigue next, see if we can get that one as well. Okay, I'm going to immediately move in with these men. <coughs> I definitely want to have high, high martial characters. In fact, we'll put me in the center. And martial is the most important. Now, one feature of this mod that's not fully functional yet is this combat modifiers thing. It's in, it's in the mod, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's just a little icon. <clears throat> Alright, so we've succeeded. And it's a tragic accident. Now, unfortunately, that means we're way over our domain limit. My sister is a terrible steward. So, <clears throat> that's probably why we have so few. That's unfortunate. In other playthroughs, she's had more stewardship on, upon getting married. Well, um, <clears throat> what would it cost to create a second duchy? 187 gold. We'd have to worry about Gavilkind's succession splitting the realm if we can't create the kingdom, but it's either that or give this land away, which I really don't want to do. We get so much more levy from it. Look at that an extra thousand men for having having that land. Let's let's say for now, um, income be damned. The the disadvantage for having over our domain limits going to be soon we'll have a minus twenty opinion with the remaining vassals for being over the limit, and we're going to have a minus fifty percent <coughs> income from the realm right here. <coughs> but at this point, I guess I'll take the troops. If we siege through some of this land or accumulate some wealth, we could always create the king another duchy, which would help. This guy wants to be my steward. I think we'd rather have him, actually. Okay, here comes the first main battle, and again, we've got clear combat on here, so this will be a big change from before. So, it's very... it's designed to be very clear, so we're on top we're using bad tactics, me personally. I have a very poor, I have a very low chance of doing that. 18% chance, so I just unfortunately got unlucky. But um, these guys don't even have commanders, which is surprising. So they have a minus 40% to all uh, offense and defense, while we have some number higher than that. So we should do very, very well in this engagement, despite the fact that we've had some, some bad combat on top. Now I do want all of this land as quickly as possible. He does have a pretty decent army there. Let's see if we can catch him. June 17th, June 14th, excellent. We can actually catch him up here. I'll take that, those, that odds, those ratios. Now, this guy is actually a better leader, but I want the prestige, so... And... Actually, I will leave these guys behind to siege. Okay. Speed it up a little bit so we can get there. Now let's see how this goes. So we've got 6,300 versus 3,700. And we're using 
good tactics versus average, average versus average, positive versus minus. We should we should do well, I think. Even in regular Crusader Kings 2, those odds should put us ahead. And so we got quite a bit of war score for that. Let's go ahead and go up here. I'm going to keep on chasing him down, try to get subjugation of Khamenei. So Okay, yep, they are fighting each other. So this guy's fighting him. This guy is defending against this guy's attack. Yeah, it's messy. Messy, messy, messy. If we can get enough war score from just attacking his army, then we can wrap this war up very quickly. That is the plan. I think I will assault through this holding here, because it, uh, actually it's not its capital. But, you know, it's only got 200 men defending. We can get some easy war score from it, so let's do that. Beaver is gone. Good. Glad to see that. I'd hate to die. This is definitely a much more aggressive start to attack in a holy war right off the bat. And we're almost at 100% war score already. I think I was too slow last time. I should have been more aggressive. I was too too cautious with holy wars, thinking that they would rally and defend against each other really quickly. And that'll do it. Off the piece. We win. Thank you. Now, because we've gotten... An, do we have another duchy? No, we just have one duchy. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna click V, click V. V, V. V, V. V and V. And from there, we're gonna disband the actual, le actual levy. And I am going to, I think, since these guys are still at war, I'm going to declare that holy war on this guy now. I'm going to try to take Kiva. Move these men in. Raise everything that we can. Rally it together. And then now, since we're over the limit, um, I don't think I'm going to die quite yet. I think I can risk creating the second duchy. We'll need to anyway to create a kingdom. So let's create this larger one. No, if we create that and then I give that land away since it's worthless, that'll make them like me less. We'll create the smaller one. Create this one. That'll increase our domain limit up to four now, which is good. And I wonder, can we actually buy level two legalism? It's not going to help us. Okay. Well, this land all has lots of penalties. This will be the land that we give away. Any marriage, not a ruler. Yes, culture, yes, religion, yes, adult. Sort by stewardship. We need to get rid of two more. Wow, that guy's good. I'm going to land him just because I like his, uh, his uh, stuff. Okay, so now we have these four, which are all good. It's good land that makes money, where, while this land up here is all still weak for a couple years. So next, we're going to go in here and take some more land. Just have to be as aggressive as possible, I think. Does that mean that I got any better advisors? Yeah, we can get a better chancellor. This guy wants to get married. So we'll arrange a marriage for him. No, no, no. Here. Arrange marriage. You. I'll give you... This one. That's fine. And then I want to take one concubine. I want to take this other one here. Just so we have a chance to make a couple more kids. I don't want to have a lot of kids because I don't want to deal with Gavilkind. And I'm not going to sleep with all my sisters like last time because that was gross. 
Um, or my mother. I'm not going to sleep with my mother. That's just disgusting. But I do want to, you know, do what we can. Now, the question is, should we assault? And I don't think we should. Let's split these men up, and then we'll send these men here. So we'll siege through slowly on these three. I think he's already down to a very weak army. No, he's got 3,900 somewhere. They must be in here. Well, let's wait and see. Huh. He's going to rally together quite the army. Okay, if that's the case, let's just put them all together. Because we're going to have one more major engagement. And instead we'll send these guys here. So they're next to each other. They can support each other. And we'll have to siege after after that last engagement. My liege, my network of spies in Berlin have found out that a local noble is homosexual. So that is in where now? My spy master I sent to Berlin. Uh, yeah, let's spread rumors about him. Can we get this guy flagged as a homo? That'd be great. <coughs> That'll be a good start. Okay, he's heading back to Samarkand, and I think I should probably go and, and attack him. So as soon as, as soon as he gets there, which will be on the 4th right now, now we're going to chase him. We're going to lose our siege duration here. We've already got that down a bit, but um, I want to, to do what we can. Now this guy is really good. Let's make sure he's leading some men. And I want to lead the center. And can we get a better guy for this? This? <clears throat> no, that's about it. Okay. We might capture him, catch him, and if not, we'll just chase him to the next county over. Yeah, we'll do just fine. 4,200 versus 2,600, we should win. And then, uh, oh wow, see they've got, look at that. See, I love that. Instantly you can tell how the combat's going. We have, this is bad. This is really bad. Negative 2 versus plus 2. That means that his army is like twice as strong as ours. And it's really surprising considering the low martial scores. This is just a really unlucky start. They're winning all across the board. But then it changes, and now we've got the favor. We'll see. Now that's more like it. Negatives across the board for them. Oh yeah, we'll take flat terrain for sure. Keep chasing his army around. And actually, since we've taken care of the majority of his army, let's split these up into, say, three groups of about 900. I'll have to do. Oh wow, we need more than 800 men? Jeez. Okay. Oh, that's because this isn't his land. Okay. So we'll leave the largest one here. I'll take that one over there, and we'll take this one over here. It's still not enough. Okay, fine. We need to leave like 1,200 behind. And then of these, we'll split these up. There we go. Alright, there we go. That should do it. We're going to continue to run these guys down for the extra war score. And rapidly expand. This will give us a nice, nice defensive advantage versus the Muslims and the Tengri, potentially Hungary, if, if they try to attack us. More land that we can kind of use as, as a buffer. Okay, things are going better, I think, than last time. 
So in just a couple short years, we've gained five counties. We're about to gain three more. And uh, from here, I think we will split now again. Go like that. Spread out. Take advantage of our manpower to siege through a lot of his land at once. And see how much more land we can acquire after that. I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.